So it's necessary that we try to feel in death the content of this doctrine that is the hope of a new world. Spiritism is the doctrine promised by Jesus. Every scientific doctrine comes from a fact that has been proven. It starts in a theory and through a laboratory experiment the fact proves the theory. Spiritism is a different doctrine. First, the facts. The phenomena appeared. And they said, we are immortal. And they explained the matter of the mortality of the soul. So we can start to realize the greatness of this message from God. When the skies open and the army under the command of our Lord Jesus Christ descends to the earth to comfort the humanity in the likeness of luminiferous stars fall the celestial bodies of knowledge and truth in the hearts of the human creatures inviting them to order, to peace, to love, to charity. Beloved sons and daughters, beware. These are the days that foreshadow those so blessed days proclaimed by the Lord of life. It's certain that the outrage, corruption, indignity stand out, and the dignified person feels embarrassed to display their integrity. It's certain that a long night descended upon the earth and the bewildered creatures throw themselves into the abyss of the suicidal madness. There has never been on earth so much greatness in science and so much moral misery. Never before have so many aspired to peace, which is born in the honorable conscious. Jesus' doctrine comes to us brought by its ambassadors to say, beware. The carnal experience is always very short and the message of time easily the screams of yesterday resonate today tomorrow asking for mercy and love and the heavens command their emissaries of light to descend upon the distressed earth to make the days of humanity less painful. Work on. Become luminous torches to put out the thick shadow of the stubborn night. And don't forget that even at the terrible midnight the next second is dawn. It's already a new day. There are still persistent shadows. There are still excruciating pain hovering around that prepares you and all of us to the radiant dawn of the full life. You were called in these days you heard the most different invitations to fullness. You were moved 
sometimes by the message of Jesus brought by the devoted disciples. Don't forget it. Return to your homes changed. Think of the peace in the world starting by the peace at home. Sing the joy smiling even before the apparent misfortune. Everything passes. It's the life of immortal nature and you now have the knowledge that all will depend on your contribution. Don't be afraid. Even if your knees are palsied, as Paul the Apostle asserted, go ahead. The goal awaits. Jesus, with his arms open wide, repeats, Come to me. I shall comfort you. May the Lord of blessings bless us all. These are the wishes of your humble and paternal server, Bezeha. Many blessings, my sons and daughters.